I'm Rayburn Johnson for Sample Library Review, and today I'll be checking out Cello Ibrida by Pulse Setter Sounds. Pulse Setter Sounds have a way of taking interesting sound sources and squeezing something epic out of them. With Cello Ibrida, Pulse Setter Sounds have taken a traditional instrument, the cello, and have picked it, plucked it, and pulsed it into something unique and useful for both scoring and trailer work. Combined with hardware synth sound sources and a great contact engine, Cello Ibrida is a great addition to your toolkit. Cello Ibrida runs in the full version of Contact 5.8 or higher. It includes 500 snapshots based on 19 different categories of sound sources using both cello and hardware synths, and it downloads at 6 gigabytes. The Contact engine uses two sound source layers with independent effects chains, LFOs, and arpeggiators. Cello Ibrida is available for $149, but is available for the introductory price of $129 at time of review. So today I'm checking out Cello Ibrida by Pulse Setter Sounds. And I always get excited when Pulse Setter Sounds comes out with a new library. They just really do awesome uh, film scoring sounds. They really take some very cool sound sources, uh, everything from an ice shaver to now a cello. <laughs> and they create some really great Omnisphere sound sets, some great Zebra sound sets. And as you can see, some awesome, excellent contact instruments. Um, I always love their interfaces too. They're always creative, as you can see here. Um, and this engine is really powerful. It It is based on two sound sources. So you can see that there's two sound sources here to choose from. And we'll dig into the engine as we go along. But let's go through a bunch of the snapshots. There's 500 snapshots in all. All of these come from about 19 categories of sound sources mostly based on cellos and cello samples, but also on some hardware synthesizers um, that really complement the cello sounds. So just a really good mix of those two sound sources to create some great um, sounds, pulses, pads, plucks, leads, all of these things that can be used to do underscore work, film work, um, trailers, you name it. You'll find a place for these sounds in your toolkit. So let's go ahead and jump right in First thing I'll show you is the, the snapshot arrangement. As you can see, there's a number of different folders. We're gonna go into the best of Ibrida, just because that really gives you a good sense of what you're looking at. But as you can see, there's ambiences, there's arpe arpeggios, <laughs> arps, basses, leads, pads, pulses, shorts, and sound sources, which we're gonna dive into that too, because there's a lot of really good things in there. So let's go ahead and start with the very first snapshot, and we'll just run through some of these as we go along, Haunted Basement. Let's see what we've got here. Really, really cool. They've got this um, really interesting macro button at the top. And of course, all of this is MIDI CC assignable. I've got this on my mod wheel right now, but it assigns to all sorts of different parameters. And then there's a second, um, a second one as well, a second macro that you can assign to your MIDI controller. We'll get into that a little bit more, but there's all sorts of things going on under the hood. You'll notice also that I have a MIDI CC assigned to the different sound sources. So you can actually move your slider and hear the different sound sources. It's kind of, This one's kind of quiet, so it's a little hard to tell, but let's go on to the next one. Horror Show. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, fun stuff. Let's move on to It's Over For You. So you can tell these ambiences are just really, really dark. Just very dark. Very nice. Let's do a couple more of these. How about um, empty spaces? being able to play with those different sound sources and go back and forth between them. Let's see here. How about risk taker? Very cool. All right, let's go back to the best of. Let's start with the ARPs. A little mesh. Um, how about chords and pulse? stuff. I really like those. And how about tension meter? maybe a couple more ARPs in the regular section. Um, drive motion. Okay, let's go down to some bases. like how you can jump back and forth between those sound sources. It just really has a cool effect. You can do all sorts of really fun stuff with that. Okay, let's go to Big Trailer Base. That sounds fun.
that's almost uh, that's almost like a mix between a bass, a brom, and a boom. <laughs> How's that for alliteration? All right, let's go into some leads here. Big tape two. Cello Simple Sustain 2. to cello some tension one. And let's just go through the engine a little bit here. Um, I'm actually just going to do my own sound sources just for fun. Let's just start with an empty slate here. And you can see, of course, you've got your volume, your pan, your tune, a low pass filter, your normal ADSR controls. You've got independent arpeggiators or gates can be used as either one for each sound source. Um, and of course you can set the number of steps, uh, the rate that you want to use, the introduction of octaves, the direction that you want an arpeggio to go. Um, you've got independent LFOs for both of these that you can use to control volume, pan, tune, or a low pass filter. Um, so let's just go ahead and grab a couple of sound sources. I'm just going to look around. We're just going to grab something random. Let's go with pizzicato full two on this side. And over here, let's go with, how about organic pulse 10? Let's see what that has there. Let's move this back to the center. So we'll go to one side and to the other. Now, just for fun, let's go ahead and turn on, let's turn on the gate. And I don't know, let's see, let's just every other, let's just get rid of every other one. So we'll do a gate on this side. And what if we were to take that down to a quarter? That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's look at the effects section. And you can see here that for each layer, you have independent effects controls. And when you hit the view button, it actually turns on the control for that effect so that you can set that for each layer. But I wanna show you something even cooler. So obviously you can do this and it will be global controls for each layer. But when you go to the matrix, this is where it gets really fun. And this is very similar to the old style, you know, hardware synth matrix matrices, <laughs> as it were. You can assign all of these different things to, for instance, macro one, macro two, velocity, or to a couple of envelopes. Let's show you macro one just for fun. So let's say we wanted to introduce some distortion, maybe a little delay, and how about some com a lot of convolution reverb. 
reverb. So let's go back to the main, make sure our mod wheel's all the way down. Let's see what this sounds like. So you can see it gets really fun. Now, you can also introduce Macro 2. So if I click Macro 2, you'll see it mentioned down here. And I've already got it assigned to one of my MIDI CCs. You'll see here that I'm doing that. So let's go ahead and just for fun, let's maybe take the delay off of the first macro, put it on the second. And maybe we want to do a little detuning on that second one as well. So let's go back. And I'm going to do macro two. So yeah, you can see it's just a whole lot of fun. So let's go on back. You've seen the engine. It gives you an idea. I'm barely, of course, scratching the surface. I mean, this, <laughs> as you can see, this thing's really deep and you can really get lost in, in playing with this. Um, but let's go ahead and go through some more of the snapshots so you can see what those are all about. So let's go to some pads. How about we go back to Best of Ebrida and start with Creepy Piz. So you can tell this, this is a great instrument for horror scoring. If you do a whole lot of horror scoring, uh, this is definitely for you. Let's go to Got Him. Uh, that's just really, really nice. I like that one a lot. Let's see, just for fun. Okay, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to throw an ARP on it. Let's just see what happens there. So let's say maybe, I don't know, let's just draw something in there. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure, maybe the rate is too much. Let's go down to a quarter. Well, I do not know. That is a mystery to me. Let's try it on the gate setting. That's interesting. Hmm. For some reason, the arpeggiator doesn't work on this particular sound source. Maybe it's because it's kind of pulsing already. That might be what's going on there. Might be a might have been a bad choice for that one. Okay, so let's go down to how about simple sustain evolve one.
Oh, these pads. I really like these pads a lot. Gosh, those are really nice. Let's try Trimo Hell. <laughs> nice play on words. Very, very dense, uh, dissonant, dark, um, just really, really nice. Let's go and play with a few more of the pads just to see what else we've got in here. How about filtered tape? nice let's look at that let's look at the matrix for that so you can see that macro one was adding just a little bit of distortion some convolution reverb and turning it into a chord and macro two just kind of increased the volume so let's play with macro two a little bit okay Looks like I'm controlling the rate, but I don't have anything going there. Let's go back to the matrix. Let's, okay, I'm just gonna reassign this to make sure it's working. So there we go. All right, let's try that again. I'm not really seeing a big difference there. Maybe let's go up a little bit and see what happens. Yeah, not really noticing anything there. I'm not sure quite. Again, you are sitting in with me as I'm learning the instrument too. So I'm sure I'm probably missing something here, but you get the idea. All right, let's go through one more pad. How about, you can see there's a lot. Again, there's 500 snapshots here. So how about vocalish? a lot of fun stuff all right and my favorite part of every pulse setter library whether it be omnisphere zebra or contact are always the pulses they have some excellent pulses so let's see what we've got in here how about beautiful morning <laughs> about bubble stock. I guess that's bubble staccato. I really like it when they um, use organic sound sources like this to create pulses. It's just really, it, it makes it kind of sit better 
when you're doing some, uh, you know, when you're doing some orchestral work, maybe you're doing some hybrid orchestral work. So you really want something to sit in there with the orchestra. It's nice to kind of take an orchestral sound source, but kind of turn it on its head and squeeze it in there. I really like that. How about easy underscore? That sounds fun. Let's start low and then let's go high. Just really fun. You can kind of get lost, <laughs> as you can see, as I'm doing right now. You can get lost playing with these. The pulse is always just—I don't know. There's something about pulses that just really inspire a song like nothing else. I don't know if that's true for you guys, but for me, if I'm really uh, having writer's block or if I'm kind of stuck, if I can just open up a pulse, it just all of these things start coming to me. Just really, they're really, really helpful. How about Game On? Let's go really low. Okay, let's move up now. Okay, let's see. How about Half-Life? <laughs> Got some big delay on there. All right, let's do just a few more pulses. I know I'm doing a lot of these, but I like pulses. All right, one more. Let's go for Devour. That one sounds ominous. One more category before we get to the sound sources. Let's go through some shorts. How about Moody? And 
let's check out each of the sound sources. kind of get lost again let's see here how about spix bounce You know what would be really fun on that is to put a gate on there. So let's just do a little of that and then maybe, I don't know, let's just play with it. Hmm. I am doing something wrong with the gate. I don't know what it is, folks, but... I am doing, maybe, maybe it's the amount. Let's try that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing there, Pulse Setter. All right. One more short, and then let's move to the sound sources. How about Suspense Clucks? So you can see we've got a synth bass and hybrid plucks. All right, let's go down into the sound sources. Now I played with these a little bit earlier and I really like these. These are just kind of the clean sound sources that lets you kind of you know, start from scratch and do your own thing. And there's just some really nice sound sources in here. And you'll notice that it's only going to load on the left-hand side because it's just simply a single sound source. So this one's automatically turned off. Of course, you could add your own there, but um, we're just going to go through these. Really nice. Okay, let's try a few simple sustain textures, a couple of those. I mean, really, those are just some nice cellos. Those are some nice cello samples that you could use in a multitude of different ways. I mean, that's, those are just so usable, even without the other snapshots, those by themselves. I mean, those are nice. One more of those. I mean, you throw some reverb on those, you can have a good time. Tremolo textures.
very useful. How about some pizzicato? And the spiccato, or here's a, actually a staccato. Well, that was interesting. Did you hear that go up and then go down? Oh, that's cool. I like that. Let's go to another one of these and see what we have. Right, organic low pulse loops. All right, I'm going to jump down a little bit. Let's go through some grain pads. It's pretty cool right there. And maybe a wash pad. And that's nice. Okay, let's go through some tape mod long multi sampled. those. Okay. And let's go through a couple of scrapes. And how about the tape mod shorts? And 
and maybe one more. Right, friends and that is cello hybrida there's just some really interesting sounds in here there's some really useful pads really useful pulses i like the sound sources a lot you can do a whole lot with those the engine is really helpful not quite sure what's going on with this uh, second sound source and why i can't quite use the gate I'm not exactly sure what's happening there i'm sure i'm overlooking something again it's called a first look video for a reason right um but I hope you enjoyed this. Just a really, really useful engine with the matrix, the effects, independent gates, independent LFOs, independent controls for your sound sources. You can get very creative with this by combining all sorts of different things between the synth sound sources and the cello samples. I think there's just a lot of really good stuff in here that you can use for scoring work, underscore, you know, film, trailers, you name it. So. Pulse Setter Sounds, bravo, great job on this. Um, I look forward to digging into, into it some more. Thanks for checking out this video. I would love to know what you think about Cello Ibrida. Would you use this in your own music? What do you think about the depth and the quality? Comment below and share your thoughts. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Finally, be sure to visit samplelibraryreview.com for news, reviews, and our weekly deal compressor.